What's up everybody, it's your girl Vivian and I am back with another video. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, hello. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos on all platforms and don't forget to click that notification bell on the side. That'll keep you alerted anytime I upload a new video. Now we all know that this channel is about lifestyle, beauty, fashion, fragrances, purses, just whatever I can get my hands on. And review for you guys and let you guys know the tea i'm all here for us so i want to thank you to all my day ones and my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel but without further ado we're going to get into this video this is going to be a video about fragrances that i will never ever purchase again okay just my personal opinion my intake some of the fragrances i may name may kind of get you all in your feelings it's okay we all have our own opinions okay so we're gonna get right into it first one chanel chance oh fresh the one the green one okay i will never ever purchase this fragrance again at first i was kind of like oh it's okay but once I wore it, you know, for a full day, can't take it. This one is too masculine. The green one is too masculine. It just feels unisex. I'm, I don't pretty much care for unisex fragrances. I want one strictly for women. I want a women's perfume, not something that's unisex to wear a man and a woman can wear it. You know, and this one kind of leans more towards the masculine side. So, no, this one I will definitely not, not purchase ever again. Once it's used or I may give it away, I'm never buying that one again. My favorite still, Chanel Chance Old Tendra. But Old Fresh, I'm not having it. So, there you have it. Chanel Chance Old Fresh, never purchasing it again. This next one is going to be Baccarat Rouge 540. It has too much hype. Granted, this is not the only niche fragrance that has a lot of hype behind it because we're going to get more into that. To me, I just don't see this niche fragrance something to where I would have to buy again. It's just that it's just it's too much hype and it's not worth the hype. It's so okay fragrance is more date night, grown and sexy, evening wear appeal. It's not something that you can wear to your nine to five or things like that. It's just more of a grown and sexy type um evening wear fragrance. And to me, it's just not worth the hype. It's not. So once I finish what I have, I don't see this. I, and I, I do like the fragrance, but I don't see it being a fragrance to wear. Once I run out, I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy it again. It's just not. It's just not that good enough to wear. If I run out, I need to buy some more. It's not. Chanel Chancel Tundra. When I ran out of my, my first small one, I ran and I got a bigger bottle. That's something I'm going to run to, which again, designer and niche, I know they're different. I understand that, but I'm just giving y'all my opinion. Baccarat Roots 540, it's a nice, grown and sexy type fragrance. It's just not something that I'm going to run back and buy again. So, this would be one I would never ever buy again. I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry. It's nice, but no. My next fragrance will have to be <laughs> this one will be Dior's Hypnotic Poison. That perfume is disgusting. I'm sorry y'all. It's just it made me want to gag when I first bought it. I was hearing a lot of stuff. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's this and all. And the fragrance notes, you would think, oh, well, you know, per the fragrance notes, you would think you would like it. I'm telling you, it made me want to gag. I couldn't, I, I just could not take it. Could not. That is a fragrance I will never purchase again. And I, that, that was one fragrance that I didn't like 
that I ended up returning. Because some of them that I really don't care for, I really don't want to go through all the hype. I just mean pass it down somewhere. But that one was one that I actually returned because I don't like that one at all. I hate it. It makes me gag and I can't stand it. So that is a fragrance that I will never ever buy again. Dior Hypnotic Poison. Okay. This next one is going to be Parfums de Marley Delina. This is it. This is it. See? See this little sample? Yeah. I purchased this back in November of 2020 because I wanted a sample because, let's be clear, this fragrance gets too much hype. Too much. More than Baccarat Rouge 540. Too much hype. Every, every, I mean, everybody on the internet just loves perfume de Marley Delina. Oh, if you, if you say you don't like it, they go eat you up in the comments. I do not like Delina. Delina is too rosy, it's too strong. It packs a punch. I don't like it. It can be pretty, it's just that it's the rubber that's in that's that, that that rubber that's in this fragrance i can't take it it gives me an instant headache like i can smell it right now and it's in it's in the packaging and i can smell it that's how strong delina is if you love something that's that's strong and real or hard down rosy then delina may be for you it's not for me i don't like it i bought a sample of it would never ever purchase it ever i don't like delina delina gives me a bad headache i don't like it y'all can get mad at me all y'all want but this one has too much hype it's too much hype behind that because i know i'm not the only one that don't like it it's too much hype now delina exclusive i would definitely recommend that definitely but the original delina no this is something that I will never ever purchase. This sample has been sitting around unused and it's gonna stay like that, okay? If somebody I know likes Delina, I will gladly give it to them. They won't even have to pay me for it. They can have it. So this is one that I will never ever purchase. Perfumes of Marley, Delina. Let's see, the next one that I will never ever purchase. Ralph Lauren's Beyond Romance. I love it. I do. It's a really pretty sweet fragrance. It really is. But to me, I think it's too sweet. And I love sweet fragrances. I really do. But Beyond Romance is too sweet. And you can you can get carried away with that fragrance by spraying too much because it's sweet it's, it's a whole lot of sweetness going on in that fragrance but it's like after a while like after it dries down and it's settled it's like this the sweetness kind of makes me want to gag like it kind of makes me nauseous and i hate to say that because i i really light beyond romance i really do but it's like now i don't know what it is maybe because it's hot and i don't know it's just it's too much sweetness and it makes me nauseous and that's a fragrance where once i'm done with it that's not something that i'm gonna go out and buy again it's just not it's just not the one that I'm gonna go out and buy again. I'm sorry. I mean, it's a really pretty sweet fragrance, but it's to me, it's too sweet. And it kind of makes me just real nauseous if I spray too much. But again, it's not something to where I like it and I want to. I do like it, but it's not that type to where I'm gonna go out and buy it again. I'm gonna restock on it. Just not. So sorry, but this one made the list. Ralph Lauren's Beyond Romance. Okay. The next one has to be Armani's Maui. Now listen, a lot of people talk about that fragrance, how they love it, this, that, and the third. Let me tell you about how this fragrance changed on me. 
when I first bought this fragrance and I smelled it, I loved it. I even wore it the night of when, cause I bought it that day. That night I wore it. We went to a restaurant, eat out. I loved it. It was really, really nice. The next few days when I try wearing it again, I hated it. I don't know what happened to that phrase. Like it just smelled. It smelled the the old like to me. It's something in it. It's just and it it started giving me headaches. And I don't know why because the first time I wore it, I never had any problems with it. But the next couple of days when I wore it, like it gave me a headache. I couldn't stand it. Like it just smelled like those old perfumes from Avon and it, it, like I just hated it can't stand it will never buy it again sorry I know y'all rave about Armani is my way my way is going the highway because I can't stand it I don't like it it has to be out of my collection I will never purchase that fragrance again and I know they have the my way intense <sighs> not even um thinking about ordering it so that's my intake on it on mine and my way will never purchase purchase again okay. another one that i would never ever purchase again would be flower bomb victor and roth i don't know what y'all seen this fragrance I would definitely not purchase again. I don't like it. It's something in it. I forgot the fragrance notes of this. But I picked it up at the time because they had a lot of reviews. Like, I mean, everybody was talking about it. Alta Sephora had great reviews. So I was like, you know what, let me buy. And I bought this on a blind buy. I'm sorry. I hate it. I will never ever purchase this again. I don't like it. I tried spraying it the other day to see. I say, but you know, because sometimes your senses change from time to time. I said, let me see. Maybe I may like it now. No, I don't like it. This is one that's my least favorite. I don't like it. And I'm kind of skeptical about buying from Victor and Rolf again, like trying their other scents. But Flower Bomb, it is not for me. I hate it. I don't. I forgot the fragrance notes in it, but whatever is in it is throwing me off, and I don't like it. And this is definitely one that I will never go back and buy again. So this one definitely made the list. Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. Okay, so this next one. This is the last one. This is one that I will never purchase again. I don't see myself. Going out there to purchase, I mean, it's just not, I, I don't feel the need. And it's going to be Burberry Her, the green one. I guess that's the one that has like pear and stuff in it. It's an okay scent, but first of all, it wasn't worth getting the big, biggest bottle, which I should have opted for the small one. Um, I should have returned it. I should have returned it, but I did not even want to go through the trouble. And... It's just not something that I see myself wearing every day. So again, in one way, I'm kind of glad I got the big bottle because once this is finished, I mean, which I barely use it. Once this is finished, whenever, um, this is not something that I'm going to buy again. I, It's okay. It's okay, Sin. It's just not something that I would wear every day. And it's definitely not one that I should have bought in a bigger bottle. I should have opted for like a little travel size or small size. But whatever the case, I ain't buying it no more. So, <laughs> so I'm just saying, this is one that I would never, ever, ever go back and restock on. And this is the Burberry Her, the green one that has the pear in it or whatever. This is it. This one right here, right here. <laughs> I will never, ever, ever purchase that one again. It's okay, because I just smelled it. I was like, mm, not, not bad. Mm, mm, mm. 
it's it's not all that. It's not worth the 3.3 .3 ounce to have. Maybe a little travel size, them little travel sprays, but that that's about it. Okay, so that's a couple of fragrances, you guys, that I just wanted to bring to you all and let you all know. Um, these are just some of the fragrances that I will never ever purchase again. Just my personal opinion. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos on all platforms. Um, when you do that, it helps this channel a lot. So I appreciate those who do. Um, if you want to send super thanks to this video, you, you can do this at your own will. Um, not forcing you to do that, but if you want to, it's available for you to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I might have talked about some that kind of get you, got y'all all in y'all feelings, and it's okay. I mean, we all have our own opinions about things. It's nothing to get mad at somebody about. Because there's a lot of fragrances that I like, that I watch videos that people hate. And I'm like, I don't get mad. I mean, that's your opinion. You like what you like, you like, and you don't like what you don't like. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Please thumbs up once again. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this on all platforms. And I will be back with many, many more to come. Bye, y'all.